it's Matt Hammer back with another video. I know it's been a little bit, guys. I thank you for being patient. I thank you for your support and being here. Uh, so I'm excited to get into a new video with you guys. Let's get into today's video. And today's video is going to be about prayer and how to pray. A lot of people don't know how to pray or don't feel comfortable praying or know how to talk to their father in heaven. You could be like stereotype and think of like a Hail Mary full of grace, the Lord is with thee, or you'll think of an Our Father, or you know, like those prayers where you just kind of go through the motions and say these words, but do we really understand what we're saying? Do we really understand what God wants to hear from us in prayer? So what better way to look into this than to jump right into the word. I'm gonna share some of my thoughts on it as well and just pretty much explain what I think about it. Um, for me, like, I mean, I grew up as a Catholic, but I, you know, I changed denominations. Like, I just see myself as a Christian, plain and simple. I have a relationship with Jesus. I love him. He's my Lord and Savior. And I just didn't want to be, like, caught up in, like, a branch of religion. For me, like, I don't say Hail Marys because it's like, why am I going to Hail Mary? Yes, she's a very significant person. Yes, she's someone very special. She's Jesus' mother, but she's not God. In the Ten Commandments, like, we're not supposed to have any other gods before God, before Jesus. So, like, I'm not going to pray to a dead person. I'm going to pray to the Lord. I'm going to pray to Jesus, to God. So, I, I don't really like say the Hail Marys or anything, but, um, you know, I think on Our Father is such an amazing prayer. I think there's so much power in it. After every time I pray, that's something that I say every time. Just say like Our Father, if you guys haven't heard it, it's Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and it keeps going. You guys know what I'm talking about. My whole point is when we look in Matthew chapter six, like that's how Jesus told us to pray. Like, he was like, when you pray, pray like this. Jesus specifically said, don't babble on as people in other religions do. He doesn't want you to just repeat the same words over and over again. They think their prayers are answered merely by repeating their words again and again. But don't be like them because your father, God, knows exactly what you need before you even ask of him. So before we even pray or lift up our hearts to Jesus, he already knows what's on our hearts. He already knows what's on our minds. So we don't have to like repeat you know, a Hail Mary or this or that to get God's attention. We just have to be authentic and be ourselves. I'll just talk to God, like kind of think of him as your earthly father, but obviously like way higher, but talk to him, like tell him how much you love him, you care for him, how, I mean, how much you need him, you praise him, you thank him for all he has done and all he's going to do in your life. And you ask him your requests and bring them up to him. I'll just give like a baseline prayer. I'll just say, Dear God, thank you so much for today. It's just a, a blessing and an honor, a gift to be alive, to be here, to be breathing, Lord. I have so much to be thankful for, and I, I know that each and every gift and perfect gift comes from your hands, Lord. And I just pray, Lord, that you be with me today. You just heal me, Lord. Forgive me of my sins, Lord. Help me with everything going on in my life. Help me to make this video in the way that you want me to, Lord. Help me to help other people. Help me to make a difference in this world by bringing people to closer to you, Jesus, and let your will be done in my life, Lord. And I ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. So that's like a a simple prayer, right? Like, I, but obviously I can get way more lengthy. I'm just keeping it like condensed because I'm on video right now. And I would just also, just like I said, put your requests out there to him. He cares for you. He wants to know what you need, what you want, what you want to accomplish for him or what's going on. If you're sad, if you're depressed, if something's troubling you, God already knows what it is, but he wants to hear from you and he wants you to lift it up to him so he can help you with that request and take care of that whatever it is, like whenever we're weary, whenever we're burdened or anything's on our minds or on our shoulders, let's well, just lift it up to the Lord because he wants to hear from us and he cares for us and he could take care of that for us. He loves us and he wants what's best for us. It's like, you know, our earthly father knows things that we need and he'll like, if we ask for something like for food or this or that, like he can provide and help us, right? Like how much more can God the Father, how much more can the creator of the universe, of the everything around us, like how much more can he provide? How much more can we, he give, right? And here's a key thing with prayers. I feel like people are like, oh, Matt, like prayers don't work. Like why? I don't, I don't know if they work. Like I feel like I prayed and, you know, it's not coming true. Well, here's the thing. Your prayers 
can be limited by your faith. Let's just say you don't think it's going to happen. You don't pray with a lot of faith. Then how are you going to expect that to happen? You have to have faith that it's going to happen before it even happens and have faith that God is going to provide it for you and lift it up to him because he cares for you and loves you. And it's crazy because he's done that for me. Like I've, I prayed to him about my ankle. I had like an ankle sprain uh, a month ago and it's just been, bo it was bothering me a lot. And I don't know if I had like scar tissue damage or whatever, because I sprained my ankles a bunch of times from riding my motorcycle. But anyway, point is I had faith that God would heal it and he did. And I had um, a friend of mine pray for me who has a spiritual gift of healing and, and we prayed over it. And I know Jesus answered that prayer and my ankle feels it feels better than it ever has. If you put limits on God, then God's gonna be limited. But if you know God is limitless and can do anything and has the power to do anything in your life, then he is gonna do anything in your life to help you. And he has plans to prosper you, not to harm you. He plans to give you a hope and a future. The more and more you pray, the more comfortable you get with it. When you lift your requests up to the Lord, when you ask him these things, you have faith, you take the limits off God, you're going to see an incredible amount of, of spiritual growth. And not only that, you're gonna see a profound effect that it has in your life. And you're gonna see God actively changing your life for the better and doing things that are going to be magnificent and taking away your pain and helping you with your struggles and helping you in every way because you're asking him for that. And that's like direct communication with God. Prayer not only is like a way for us to ask for things and God to heal us and to help us with things, but it's also a way for us to seek God. It's also a way for us to be more intimate with God and be closer to him. Yes, it's great to get in the word. Yes, it's awesome to get into the Bible, but God also wants us to pray and talk to him and seek his face and seek his heart. So I challenge you, I challenge you to just set aside five, 10 minutes of your time and just pray, you know, turn off your phone on do not disturb or silence it and just get alone with God. Just talk to him, tell him what's on your mind, on your heart and lift up these things to him. And I, I challenge you to do that and to do it every day and try not to ever miss a day, like continue doing it. And you're going to see an amazing thing change in your life. Like for me, I can't go a day without praying. Like if I wait on prayer, if I don't pray, I see my day is not going as good as it can. I, I can be worried, I can be stressed, I can be anxious, but when I give that time to God, when I lift up those, those anxieties or lift up these things going on in my heart to Him, He changes it and He takes care of it. And I know He can do the same for you. I love you guys. I thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be posting videos every week. And on top of that, more spoken words to come. Excited to drop some news about that. So uh, stay updated and I'm, I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. God bless.